welcome to Satin once again. Today we have with us a power woman, a super amma, who manages everything. She is Fiona Juriens Munasinghe, Director Marketing of Hemas Consumer. And she is a very busy lady, we caught up with her on a Saturday. And over to Fiona to share with you how she achieved what she achieved and how everyone, if they, are, if they put their mind to it, can do it. Fiona, tell us a little bit about how you started okay. and also um, how uh, you came up to where you are today and then onwards how any woman who has the capability and the talent can do it as well. So I was lucky to be in a family and I had parents who really didn't you know, distinguish between girls and boys. So I think that was the starting point. I mean, there was never restrictions put on us that, oh, you're a girl, which happens very often. And there are four preconceived notions of what you should be doing. Uh, so I was very much a top boy. Uh, I had a bandage on myself at any given point. Uh, and yeah, so I attribute the beginnings to, to the early childhood. And really, we were encouraged and given a lot of independence, including from my school ladies college. So we really weren't, uh, you know, cushioned a lot. We were we were given independence to do a lot of stuff. Uh, so I think that really builds your character and builds your independence. And, and I had parents who didn't, you know, try to control us or protect us too much. And there was a lot of trust and faith put in us. Uh, and as a result, we didn't abuse it. Uh, because, you know, if somebody trusts you, then you reciprocate with that trust because the ownership is on yourself. Uh, so I did generally believe that that was the start. Uh, then I was really fortunate I went off to uni to the UK for, for three years. Uh, so I think that was another big uh, step because you go to another country, you no longer have your parents, the safety net is no longer there and you meet different types of people. Uh, and you sort of realize that, you know, that people are different and that doesn't mean anybody is good or bad. You are just a result of your upbringing and, and your context. So I think uh, that was probably another immense sort of step in my life. Uh, and then when I started working, I started working as a management trainee at Hemas, uh, and I think this was another really important step. It's an, a really good place to work. Uh, we had a very good balance of men and female, probably skewed to females, to be honest. Uh, my first two bosses were females, um, and I think, and they were definitely not stereotypical women bosses. So, uh, you know, I think that was another really important step in my life. Uh, we had a really good work culture, we were empowered. Uh, you know, it was, it was a good place to be. Um, so that was probably the next step. Then I left, uh, went off to an MNC for three years, and actually I'm back at Hemas now. So I'm in my sixth year, back at Hemas, so over 10 years there together. Um, so that has been basically my history. So I'd, I'd probably attribute it to, to less social pressure on stereotypes of what the women should be. Uh, being given the freedom, and it was from home or school, to really figure out who you are. Uh, for example, my dad always said, I'm not going to help you because if you make a mistake, you need to take ownership. But if you do well, at the same time, it shouldn't be because somebody helped you, it should be because it's, it's what you did. And I think that has really worked. It, it's a hard call for parents to take because I think it's, it's easier sometimes to handhold. Um, so it was part of that. It's having a good workplace, uh, and I've had good bosses, a good workplace. Um, and it's also about yourself. I think, uh, you know, not trying to be perfect uh, and trying to, you know, be the best at everything. Figure out what is important for you. Know when to ask help. Uh, and I think give yourself time. Be at peace with yourself. And the answers are not all going to be there. I mean, it's, it's a continuous journey. Uh, I'm definitely, you know, in the early days of that journey. And, and you learn something every day. But I think be at peace with yourself. Have confidence in yourself, surround yourself with positive people, uh, find a workplace that you know understands the challenges that women has and, and encourages that uh, diversity. Uh, and yeah, mainly I think trust in yourself, that's, that's the most important. 